Hi, this is Mans from Quest for a Farm, and today I am going to be attempting to make soap. So, first things first, I've got my safety goggles on, and we are going to put some gloves on. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a lye solution. So I've got, I'm making a tiny, tiny batch here because this is the first time I'm trying it. So you'll find out along with me if it's going to work or not. So here I have 250 mils or one cup of oil. Um, I converted to milliliters. Um, just for my own self. Normally we weigh things out, but I did the conversion on the powdered ingredients as well. So one cup of oil, putting that aside, 100 milliliters of distilled water. The reason we're using distilled water is because we don't want any bitties and bobbies in it. A spoon to stir then in here I have um, sodium hydroxide or caustic soda and then I have a little, because I'm using such a small quantity, I have a little blender milk frother jobby. So first things first, we are going to very carefully open our sodium hydroxide. You can see mine is in pellet form. And we are going to add it to our water. At which point, we'll start seeing, you can already see, she's foaming up on the sides here. It's heating up. So that is what is going to create our lye solution, which is going to make the soap or saponify, we call it the fats or the oils. So, mm, smells delightful. Um, always make sure you do this in an incredibly well ventilated area. Um, I've used caustic soda before never for soap making, but it's got a lot of drain unblocking and what have you. Um, properties so we are going to you can feel this is nice and hot you can see it's steamed up inside so we are going to just wait for the reaction to cool down okay so what we're going to do as soon as it's cooled down some we are going to add it to our oil and stir. Just a side note, I am not adding any fancy colors or smells or little bits of petals. If this goes well, then I certainly will. I'm also just using a plain sunflower oil um, because I'm unsure. So that being said, we'll put it aside and I'll see you once my lye solution has cooled down. Okay, a couple of minutes have passed. My solution is now nice and cool. Sorry, I forgot to mention the amount of the um, caustic soda that I put in here was just shy of two teaspoons. It was um, nine milliliters. So 250 milliliters of oil or fat um, 100 milliliters of water and 9 milliliters of caustic soda. So that being said, I'm going to, I'm going to try and not make this bubbly. So I'm going to oh, give this another stir. It actually is mixed quite nicely. And then I'm going to pour sort of over my spatula and into my oil so you can see 
Water and oil, not good friends. And let's give it a mix. So you can see immediately the oil is starting to emulsify or saponify and the color is changing. This is very exciting. I feel like it's going to work. Okay. If you do bigger quantities, you would use an immersion blender or a hand blender. But as I say, I am just using this, which maybe I could have used something a little stronger, but it's getting the job done. Um, I am told that you could use a whisk to get this done, but I'm way too lazy to stand whisking and whisking and whisking, so this will be it. Okay, so... I want to make mine um, not too thick, but also not too thin. I want to make sure everything's nice and blended. So you can see there's no more oil on the top. It's all blended nicely. My Lord, I think it's working. You never know, I might just get a little bit more brave and put an aroma in here. I don't know if I should though. And here we go, blending, blending, blending. So because I'm doing such a small quantity, I am only using um oh I'm mixing I'm pre-mixing it in my little mold. Um this is obviously not a stock standard mold. This is just a normal plop away. So basically what my decision was because I was unsure A whether I was gonna like doing it, B whether we were all gonna like the soap that comes out of it, I decided I would spend no money. So my little milk frother is something that I had. I'm just using a plastic that I have got. Um, as I say, I usually have got some caustic soda lying around in the garage, which is not 100% ideal for soap making. You really do want to buy it from a proper manufacturer to make sure that um, it's pure and clean, as it were. And... Um, just normal sunflower oil. Um, if this works all nicely, which I suspect it's going to, I shall certainly be getting grapeseed oils and olive oils and all sorts. So, there you have it. And... As I say, you could, from here, you could pour it out into a mold. Actually, I think maybe that's a little bit thin. I'll blend it some more. I'll come back when it's blended. Okay, there we are. All nicely blended, thickened up. And um, now we leave it for two days in order to set and then we will try and unmold it. Wish me luck. Hi, this is Mans. Welcome back. And what can I say? That did not go well. This is disgusting. It hasn't solidified. It hasn't set the gross little blobbies in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this and try again and this time I have borrowed a scale from my lovely neighbor and I will be doing the measurements properly instead of trying to wing it. All right, so what I have done in order to fix my little folly and hopefully make things better is I have now weighed all of my goodies out. So what we are looking at here is water is 158 grams, 
then my caustic soda or my lye, you can see I've got the little pearls here, is 68 grams. And my oil, ooh, my oil is 481 grams. So I am only doing a half quantity again because I messed it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making our lye. Okay. So very carefully, you're always going to add your crystals to your water, not the other way around because it can cause a volcano type reaction. Again, safety precautions, make sure you're extremely well ventilated, which reminds me I should probably put the fan on, keep stirring, I've got my safety goggles on, and I'm keeping away. You can actually see the steam starting to rise off, and I don't know if you can hear that little sizzling it's bubbling, it's doing its thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we <coughs> are going to put it aside to cool. Okay, so we have brought the temperature of our oil up a little bit. It's about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And that makes it about 40 degrees centigrade. And our lye solution is about 120. So they're kind of within 10 degrees Fahrenheit of each other. So it's about 42. So now I am going to very carefully add my lye solution into my oil. I have a suspicion that I know what I did wrong yesterday. I suspect that my solution was incorrect. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a good stir. I needed to just mix a little bit because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it into my blender. You can already see it's starting to kind of emulsify. And now what we're going to do is we are going to pour some of it in. Okay, and now we're gonna put our little blade on and pray with me that we get a decent traits here. Let me just see if it's thickening up at all. Can you open that for me? Okay. Give me the glove. Give me a glove. <clears throat> oh, don't worry, I've got it. I was about to say, is this a left-handed glove? Can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give me the left-handed glove? Okay, it's not quite there yet, but it's definitely going better than yesterday so we'll blend it up a little more and I'll see you back when we have what's called a medium trace all right okay that was a bit of blending I probably blended for a minute maybe two and it is doing what it is supposed to do so I'm going to show you the consistency And if you can see, I don't know if you can see the top of the bowl here, but as I'm pouring, it's leaving trace. It's leaving little marks on the top or traces. So I'm just using, because I'm still playing around with this and I'm unsure of myself, I am just using this little plastic bowl to set it. So there we go. Give it a couple of taps, make sure there are no air bubbles and that it goes into all of the little crevices. 
It doesn't smell like anything. It smells a bit like soap. Oh, does it? Oh, gosh, it does. It smells like soap. <laughs> okay. Huh? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as it's drying, take my spoon and make little circles on it for no reason other that then I am excited that this worked. Wait, does that look like little leaves? Not really. Yeah, it looks no, like leaves. Sort of. Okay, wait, let's try again. Right, so I'm going to leave this in here for 24 to 48 hours just out here on the kitchen counter. Let it set and then I shall attempt to unmold it and cut it into a couple of bars of soap, one of which I have promised the neighbor. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you for the grand unveiling of the soap. Hi, it is now 24 hours later and I am delighted to tell you that my soap has set. Um, I will be doing a follow-up video where I use tallow as part of my oil content of the soap as well as um, adding some essential oils. I am an aromatherapist by trade, so um, I have a fairly good idea about oils and their uses and everything. But basically what we're going to do is we are going to, and this is why we do it in a plastic mold, we're going to loosen up the edges there and push up on the bottom and hopefully it all comes out in one piece yeah, it feels pretty loose okay maybe there are a few little pieces missing but you know okay so maybe I could have let it go a little bit longer but I'm too excited so a lot of people will use one of them wire type things to cut their soap. I'm just going to use this. So mm, I think I'm going to cut it here. Mm, maybe here. And then let me have a look. Okay, so... It could have set a little bit better inside. It's fairly soft inside, so we'll just be super careful with it. And I think I'll take these two edge ones in half. See? It smells... I don't know how to explain it. It smells like soap. Um, these bits inside, I don't know if you can see, they're almost a bit tacky and they're not quite dry yet, but not to worry. And we chop our soap in half. And then this, what I'm going to do, because I want just one nice bar at least. So, ooh. I'll chop that like that. So now all we're going to do is we are going to put this literally, I'm just going to chuck it back in the bowl and leave it just in the open air out of the way somewhere so that it can properly dry all the way through and cure, which will take us four to six weeks. And... There you have it. Soap, take two, happy girl.